All right, let's go and simplify this one. <coughs> seems like we've done one like this before. It just seems like it looks very familiar. So yeah, on this one, before we do anything, we need it to be one fraction over another, not fractions being added or subtracted to each other, which means we need common denominators. So in the numerator, here I've got a y, and here I've got an x, which means this first fraction, its denominator, is missing an x. So I'm going to multiply the 2 by x as well. This x is missing a y, so the 3 also is missing a y. Okay, now that's going to change everything in the numerator. I've got a 2x over xy plus 3y over xy. That's great. That gives us common denominators, which we'll work with in just a moment here. Now in the denominator, it's the same thing. I've got a y that's missing an x, so I'm going to have to multiply the 3 by x. The x is missing a y, so I'm going to have to multiply the 2 by y as well. That changes to 3x over xy minus 2y over xy. Now that we have common denominators, let's go and re rewrite this using the common denominators and combining those into one fraction for the numerator and denominator of our large complex fraction. So that gives us 2x plus 3y all over xy all over 3x minus 2y all over xy. And then we could rewrite this using division, right? So that gives us the 2x plus 3y over xy. Sorry, that's a y. And then we're going to divide this by 3x minus 2y all over xy. But we never really divide fractions like this. We only multiply them. So I'm going to reciprocate uh, the divisor, which is the green term there. So now this becomes multiplication. Our dividend stays the same, 2x plus 3y all over xy. And now this becomes xy over 3x minus 2y. All right. Now, we did a problem like this already. We're just multiplying these. And as it turns out, this xy will cancel out this xy. And that leaves us with, in the numerator, I've got a 2x plus 3y. And in the denominator, I'm left with 3x minus 2y. And that right there is about as far as we can simplify these. There's nothing we can factor out from the numerator or denominator, which would then cancel out something else, even if we switch them around using the commutative property of addition.